Another mother. That's right. Is here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, what he that, said? that's right. That's right. We got Mr. Jerry Williams taking his place. Well, we had we had a good horse show this week. A real good I horse mean, show this weekend. Was I, I was very pleased with it. Uh, a lot of good horses. I know at one time the DQPs were tickled to death. They said that they had not found anything wrong with any horse, and uh, that that's a that's a blessing that's right, right there. And one of them said, he said, I just about bet a hundred dollars they don't find nothing on the swaps. Yeah. And and I mean, I, I was tickled because every horse, I, I just saw, I saw some horses that I didn't think were that good. Yeah, that's right. Me but, too. Uh, I mean, some of them first time in the ring, uh, little Hayden Burks rode a four-year-old mare in there that had never been in the mm -hmm. ring. Sixteen-year-old kid, but he got fourth. They had a real good show. That show was real, was real good. You could not ask for anything yeah. other. Uh, Fast did a great job. Sarah, mm -hmm. Sarah Smith is, she knows what she she's doing. She knows she's doing doing the horse show. Yeah. Well, I'll she's tell you really what I'm going to do, Jerry. That. Before I go into announcements, we're going to take a break. And then I got a couple announcements. And then I got a correction I got to make that I ain't looking forward to, but it, okay. it needs to be made. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KB Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> Okay, want to remind everybody the spring extravaganza starts Saturday night in Shelbyville, April 23rd, located at the Bedford Ag Center. You can call Carol Misseldine, 919-437-6597 for information. It's going to start at 4 p.m. That's an early start. It is. And the judge is Mr. David Sisk. Remind everybody, next week we will be doing the Bedford uh, Walking for Cancer show in Shelbyville. Yes. It's going to be judged by Chad Williams, so it's going to be good. There, there's a lot going on, Jerry, and what I want to do right quick before I forget is to make a correction. Last week I was talking about BMOs targeting a trainer. Uh -huh. Well, I come to find out that and this is what upsets me. I, we try to report exactly what's happening. Yeah. And when someone misleads us, we say it. So now I've got to apologize to the USDA for making a statement that wasn't true because I was told something that wasn't quite right. Yes. The VMO looked at one horse 
not every horse he rode, but one horse. And she didn't tell him he couldn't show. He chose not to show. And uh, th this is something that people need to realize. We like to report what's happening and let people know. But when we have a member of our industry that intentionally tries to start a conflict, that reflects on everybody. You're right about that. And, and, and it's not good for us, and it's, not, it's really not fair to the people who are taking horses up there. And to be quite honest, it ain't fair to just blatantly tell something that's not true about a VMO uh, just to cause a riff. Uh, we have a bad enough time as it is. You're, you're right. So uh, I'm just, I want everybody to know that I stand corrected. There was not targeting. Uh, if anything, the uh, person leading the horse up there was doing the targeting by trying to start a conflict. Yeah. So that's all I'm going to talk about that. However, well, the I am. Enough, the biggest thing about that is, Jerry, you're big enough to admit when you. Well, it, it, it is wrong. Yeah. And, and, and I. I don't let, I mean, that puts a bad taste in my oh, mouth. I understand. It makes me, I condemn CNN because they can't tell the truth. And I sit here and I do what I think, but I was wrong. Yeah. And uh, I stand corrected. I do want to point this out. There is a sale that goes on in Shelbyville every now and then. And uh, it just, it, it tickles me because you, when you go, you constantly hear, one word, whether you're selling a horse, or buying a horse, or selling tack, and that word is sold. Yeah. Wow, What's this? this? One. So, uh, get your cattle on from here, sit in your cell with the rooms. Want everybody to know the rooms of the games we're here today? So, 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 Mark Yonchi, so, to my man, there's your black stud goat, but I am three-time world grand champion of the world. I am Jose. Here's the opportunity. Come in, 27. Where you at, Mark? 26, 27, 27. Last call. When you get down to it, done. So, so. You got it, 2,600, 2,600 here. And then 56 and a half. 56 hundred. Could I have a little bit of time here? 6. So, 55 hundred. You bought a 55 hundred. So, 100 Mark, call, take it. Call 100 Mark. So, so, so. You break one. Break the next one. That's the real deal, guys, right here. Opportunity is knocking right here, Adam Johnson. Here's a horse to take it home. Right out of the city is the toe, 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 toe. That's what you like to hear when That's you right. go to. <laughs> Highway 43 auction is sold. sold. That's right. And that's it. Especially if you're the one doing the selling. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I like about him. You out there, you hear that a lot. And there's some good people. Mike Tibbs, Big Dave, yes, Roberts. Sir. He's just uh, super good people. They are. Try to do what's best. Leanne's big horse seller, mm -hmm. too. I mean, she, she is. She has some good horses, good trail horses. She does horses. a good job on horse. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I sent a lady to her, told her, I said, this lady's looking for one. I told her, I think that one that you got will suit her. Yeah. Came, got it, loaded up, and took it home. It's that quick. You got some good ones out there, too. Yeah, I got some you pretty got good some, ones out you there. You got some good trail horses. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you take some out to Pleasant Valley and ride them, yeah, too, Yeah, take don't them, you? ride them. You stay everything going up and down hills and the water and the creeks and stuff like that. To give them, you stay everything. Because, you know, if somebody come out there and wants a a pleasure riding horse or a trail riding horse, you won't be able to know that he can't go trail riding this and this estimating that he might can do it because you don't never know what one do out in the woods. Or well, whatever. Tell me the truth. When you're out there riding, do you ever get up under one of them trees and just sit there and fish for a while? I would now, like be to. Truthful. Yeah. Be truthful, Jerry. <laughs> I won't never say a word. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm pretty sure that there's some fish in some of them ponds back there. Yes, there. they I mean, are. Just about yes. got to be. Mm -hmm. I know he's got everything else out there, but that is a good place to trail. Yeah, ride. it is. That really that is. Can train, you can train a horse out there on trail. Oh, Lord, yeah. They, yeah. they have a lot. They got a gravel road. They got just about everything that you'd want. Yes. Uh, and then some. So, well, I tell you what, we're we're getting we're getting one ready to go up to the auction too. Yeah. Uh, and I'm looking forward to that. They, people don't realize that there's avenues out here for the Tennessee walking horse. It is. That uh, pe people just don't know. There, there's. People everywhere that would rather ride a Tennessee walking horse on the trail 
than in his arrest. Oh, I would too, you know, because they're a lot smoother and a lot easier, you know, to get along with and get around. And, and you don't feel wore out when you get off the, when you get up after the trail ride. You know what George Foreman said at the trainer's banquet in Franklin one year, don't you? What? Said if he'd been riding a Tennessee walk horse before he fought Muhammad Ali, he'd have whipped him. He whipped him. <laughs> and, and I believe him. Yeah. He said he wouldn't have been as stiff. Said mm -hmm. that he was stiff when he was fighting Ali. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it, one yeah. way to get out of it. All right, we're going to go start watching some Walking in the Smokies. We had a couple of good ones up there. Paul Simmons. I like that man. I've, I've yeah. not met him, but I've seen him and watched him and, and read about him. He, he seems to be a super good He's guy. He's a real nice guy. I keep all the brew mares and baby coats and stuff like that. And my boy now, he's a real nice guy. Well, I've talked to him several times on the phone and, and have good conversations with him. But I'm gonna tell you, he can ride, and that horse right there is a good one. Yeah, he is a good horse, real good horse. I told him, I said, you're gonna keep getting that reserve ribbon. They're gonna have to give you that first place that's, ribbon. That's right. Or later. Oh, Jimmy just puts that smile on his face oh, and yeah. keeps kicking, doesn't he? That's Paul's horse there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it, Jimmy showed and won with him, and then Paul got a reserve there, on yeah. But I mean, that's saying a lot of first right. and second at one show. Mm -hmm. I mean, shoot. They talk about we can't show our horses multiple times. That, they show, they do that with that horse all the time. That's right, all the time, all the time I now. Mean, he's, he's, he ain't the only one. There's others, too. Paul loves them horses now. He, he loves well, I'm no, going to tell you, it, 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 you either love the horse or you don't. No, you're you right. love it, you're going to be here. All right, let's go to the Southern Championship. You won a lead line championship you down there, it, did yeah. you? Yeah, mm hmm Here's Sky's masterpiece in Tanner Burks. Bye. Our owner, Eddie Guthrie. That horse was reserved in the Smokies. Yeah. Tanner does a good job. He does now, a really he, good job. He's a good job. Yes. Right there, a little shady. And Edgar Abernath there for Ray Shoemake Tyser, your four year old stallion winner. And you know the, what we was talking about a few minutes ago about the. Uh, not being truthful. Yeah. That was one of the reasons the inspections slowed down. They, we only had one DQP, yeah. and they was dealing with that situation. Yeah. So it affected the whole show. I like that one. Right here, self-made money. Yeah. Jack Purple is... is Super good guy. I'm just looking forward to seeing him on the horse. Jessica does a great job. But Jack was tickled to death. Self-made money. That's a real nice horse right there. He's walking and shaking right there. That's what they want. Yeah. Right here's Habanero Picante and Kimberly Walden. She carried the flag for the fast show. Yes, I've seen night. that. Mm -hmm. Did a good job. Yep. Her and Perry now, both of them, are, they're, they're trying to train themselves now. Uh -huh. And they do a good job, exceptional yes. job. Here is a real good horseman. Oh yeah. yeah. You know that uh, the stream that we did down there, we had over 900 people all gone. Uh -huh. Here's Sister Sledge and Jerry Beatty for Rising Star Ranch, your three-year-old Baron Gildan. This was a big favorite. She's a pretty thing. That is a big. That's a beautiful a big mare. mare.
Right here is the medalist and Eli Cunningham. I tell you, that young man can ride now. Yeah. There was a guy, hey, he made real good show over there. Hey, there was a guy telling me he said looks like a miniature trainer sitting up there. <laughs> but he does, he does a great job of riding. He keeps them hands down. He, he concentrates. Yeah, but he made a good ride. But his granddad used to ride a lot, yep. Jane Wilson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure did. Right here, Cowboy Defender and Mackenzie Lawrence. Now, this was Racking Action Specialty Championship. And uh, Jamie said that he needed that for, him, for her. I don't blame it. I've been proud. Yeah, that's right. I know she was tickled. I seen her the other night. She said, said I want to see it. <laughs> That JD and Ginger. Oh, Ginger, had, uh, JD was wearing one of my t shirts. I told everybody that was my billboard. <laughs> right there he is, Jamie McKenzie. That has to be a good feeling that, inside. To oh, yeah. Watch you. Son or daughter, really. Right here, a little shady. May she rate shoemate tizer. She was reserved in the amateur pony. But uh, now that horse had already showed once. So that, that's an accomplishment right there. That's another example of what our horse can do. And Ray, now Ray can ride. Ray can ride. Ray's a, a um, good rider, real good rider. I think Sandy likes the carriage, doesn't she? Yes, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. And here's quite an honor in John Allen Calloway, your four-year-old Marion Gildon winner for Miss Beth Beasley. During this class, I kept hollering down there and asking uh, Alan Callaway, he said, how's he doing? How's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a real good one. Oh, yeah, he's good. And right here, I was really impressed with this. And I'm, you know, Jake Jacob. Yeah. And that is a good one. Even the people on the internet, they was calling in there and Seven out of eight was saying, the guy with the black horse, the guy with the black horse. Yes. <laughs> Which black horse? <laughs> Jake's a good one, though. He, he does a lot for the industry, a whole lot, and shows, shows some real good horses. He had some good horses yeah. this weekend. Well, I'll tell you, we're going to take a short pause for our sponsors, and we'll be right back with some more videos because we got a lot, lot to go. So let's go to commercials. We'll be right back. <laughs> Again to win started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the Amateur Four-Year-Old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both Amateur and Open Show Pleasure Divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both Open and Amateur Divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen to win is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. 
Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once and delivered to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email, too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Host My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. I don't want anybody to forget the winner's circle. They have free shipping for any order over $100, and they do support our industry on a regular basis. So please remember the winner's circle when you're getting your equine needs. It's Jerry Harris and Jim Fuller with the latest in the world of horses, including information and clips from area shows. More of What a Horse coming up. You know, Jerry, over at the winner's circle, you go in there and you can get anything you want. You can. Trail riding, our, ho our show horses. Yeah. It's a, I was in there the other day looking around. It was amazing the things. It, and, and what they don't have, they can make. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. You can get anything you want over there. Super good. All yeah. right, let's go to some more. And this one is going to be the Fast Spring Showcase. And this is where we start kicking off big time. Right here's your amateur four-year-old mares and gildings. This was a good class. Jen's lucky Penny and Janie Chapman took the blue. Made to honor and Lisa Baum was reserved. Tammy Jones, Noah Botts, third. Take a chance on me and Hayden Burks. Into the wild blue, Kelly Arrington, the Birdman of Alcatraz, Amelia Hesseldine, the Mandalorian, D. Boom Yoder, and Jose's Taboo DPS. Julia Cole finished out. And I'm going to tell you, this is it. That young man right there, that mare had never been in the show ring. He's 16 years old. Man. 16 and buddy he showed her like a champ take a chance on me i was more pleased with him than i was anything yeah because it i mean that, that's saying something never been in the show so ring. you're right you're nervous about it and you say go ahead and he takes her in there at four years old he said she was looking around pretty good at the warm up there <laughs> she got over it they had some real good horses in the class. That was a nice, that was, that was extremely nice that place. Is. Yep. Noah Botch was third. We was talking about Hayden Thompson, and I told him, I said, he almost beat you. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. That, that was a walking mare now. She was getting with it. There was your winner. Yeah. But right here was the one that everybody's screaming about. Uh-huh. Everybody, she's walking and getting it done. Take a chance on me and Hayden Thompson for Kathy Lewis. Mighty proud of young, uh, that young man. And he, yeah. He's a good kid. He really is. He knows what work is. That's right. And he doesn't run from it either. He gets <laughs> right in there with it. Right here, the Tweeba Youth Midday in Canter class. This one was, was something else. Evening at the Palm and Laney. I'm gonna have to mule neck. <laughs> I'm hoping that is correct. If it isn't, I apologize. But she was the winner on with Evening at the Palm. Cash Reaction and Finley Grace Brooks was reserved. 
Jose's Chatterbox, John Garrett Burton finished out the ribbons. I like this little class here. I do too. This, this is one of uh, Virginia Stewart's favorite now. She, yeah. She likes the, the canter class. And that's what this is all about, is getting these kids to canter. I think the horse that won it is trained by Bill Bobo. Yeah, one it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bill's got to where he's showing quite a bit now. Yes, uh-huh. But now he's showing flat shot, he's showing model and performance. Yes. That young man made a good show. Yep. Well, all, all, all three, three of them, them did. They did, all three of them uh -huh. did great. I tell you what, you got some good good help at your barn too. Yeah. Between your son and then, then you got Taz, Taz yeah. and Brad. But, you, mm -hmm. you can't beat Brad with a stick. Then you, you got your Wes. Wes, he's mm -hmm. in there. There she is, evening at the palm, and Laney Mullinac. I hope that is right. Yes. I'm so glad to see him back in the ring oh, and fooling with horses and stuff like that, especially growing up watching him, you know. He's a good one. He's been he at it for a long time. And he's the same way every time you see him. Oh, yeah. He doesn't say. Right here, he used ponies. This was another good class right here. Yeah, wasn't the two horses in there, but they were neck and yeah. neck, wasn't it? The hoss. And Ali Joe Jacobs took the blue. Yeah. And I am big enough and Maxine Beasley was reserved. And both of them got first place votes. Yeah. They sure did. I think they had three of them in there. Yeah, there, there was. I'm sorry. Lily, Lily Waits and, and uh, Daniel Garza. Yeah. Was the was the young man that was in there. And I think I pronounced that right. There he is. Yeah. Is that Dr. Baker's? Son. No, that um, or your guy, grandson? no, that guy that helped over there with um, Joe Fleming. Okay. And then with Justin Harris. I tell you what, those two ladies, little ladies, that both oh, of them, yeah. both of them can ride. Mm-hmm. There she is, the Hoss and Ali Joe Jacobs. The new pony winner. It still amazes me how, you know, the big horse right there, them little kids can handle them and hey. stuff like that and go around that ring. They don't have as big a problem with them as some have them. You're, you're right. <laughs> I'm serious. Because they just ride. Oh, they do. They just yeah. ride. They, and they, they have fun. There to, the horse well trained. Yeah. Right here, she, I am big enough than Maxine Beasley for Beth yep. Beasley. And this was your reserve. Now, they will not show together, I mean, against each other at celebration. They'll uh -huh. be in two different divisions. Yes.
Amateur show pleasure. Now, this is always a great class yes. when this horse is in there. Right oh, yeah. there, epic. I'm telling you, that that is just a piece of work. Epic and Megan Hammond took the blue for Shamrock Farms. The Nightcrawler and Sister Milligan. Ted Who, Donald Turner, and Titleist remembered Bailey McCoy finished out the ribbons. But I'm gonna tell you, when you're in there against Epic, oh yeah, you're in there what against what I consider the best right now in yeah. that amateur division. She come right in there and took over when uh, the uh, the horse that Jeff Hatcher had for Salon. Yes. Uh, that was that was another one that was Godfather but Ultra Cop. Yeah. That he was. He was awesome in that division, and this one right here is too. Epic. That's and Megan Hammond. Oh yeah, that's a real good Epic. Epic. Doesn't seem like he missed a step. No, uh -uh. This horse's mama produced a lot of good. Oh, yeah. Top horses. Well, you're talking about these good producing broodmares. Debbie Eichler's got one that uh, just had a foal and colic, and they're having some problems with it. And that's the one that, that has by Felicia. Yeah. Oh, several more good ones. Here's your amateur mares and gildings. And the lady I deal with in Atlanta loves the horse that won this class. Uh -huh. Uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald took the blue. Yes. Miss Stone Cash and Noah Botts was reserved. A master's degree, Jacqueline Way. Harley Quinn, Beth Collins, Jose's Lily Rose got two. Undercover Boss, Debbie Eichler. Reservation Online, Gail Holcomb. And Jen's Not Kidding, Sister Milligan yeah. finished out the ribbons but it was uptight Jose all the way. It was a big class. It was, it was a nice class. Yes. I was tickled to see the classes and the caliber of the horses mm -hmm. we had. But I'm gonna tell you, that undercover boss at Debbie Eichler, uh -huh. that's one good mare, and I mean good mare. That's Harley Quinn right there. And right there is uptight mm -hmm. Jose. Steady walking. Master degree, Jacqueline Way. There's Noah Botch. Bruce is a known that loves this. Him and his wife love this. Oh man. Love it, love it, love it. Jose and Bruce McDonald. You know, Bruce just a super good guy. He is a real he nice guy. Really he's, he's he, knows you, he knows you, he knows you. He knows you.
And Robin is a special lady too. Oh, she's the sweet she can be. Right there, you three year old stay in there. This was a competitive it class. Was, yeah. Voyager and Jimmy McConnell took the blue for Paul and <laughs> Tiffany Simmons. Walk in Faith, R.M. Kelly for Jack Rader. Honor Me Now, Dale Watts for Douglas Hart. He's a Mr. Maverick, Bill Calloway for Holmes and Masters. Brett Maverick, Winky Groover, Big Show Syndication. Just Deal With It, Amber Zan, Wayne Sandra Barnes. The Black Panther, Dan Waddell for Andy Rippey. And Time for Honors, Justin Harris for Morella Fugger. That's now, this a good one. horse, Jimmy, riding right there. Hey, Jimmy's on a good one. That's one of Paul Simmons' yeah, horses. Uh -huh. I asked him, I said, when are you going to get on? He said, when Jimmy gets him ready. <laughs> That's a good one. Dale's yeah, on. Dale's riding a real good horse. There was several. I saw several in there. Dan Waddell's. I mean, sometimes when you look in there, it, it's kind of hard to pick yeah, a winner. It is. And if, if you notice that we had some unanimous but not an overabundance of, 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 of unanimous. Even your real good horses that you, like Epic, which was a big surprise, wasn't unanimous. The horse, uptight Jose, Borger, he wasn't unanimous. Right here is Borger, Jimmy McConnell. Yeah. Paul Tiffany Simmons. Three-year-old stallion winner. It's a nice horse. I like him. Amateur stallions, and we, you know we started off with one of the best. Yeah. <laughs> Love that horse. All about Jose and Jackie Watley. I talked yeah. to Jackie on the phone. I told him he, he's just plain good, Jackie, and he is. The legal tender and Sherry Bonner was reserved. The Night King and Jeff Smith, which is a great horse. Yeah. Then he's Whiskey Cavalier. Won a ton of shows. Uh -huh. So th this horse was in there against some tough it's competition. Old. Yeah. But it was also unanimous. Yeah. So. Look at that. I'm going to tell you, we, we've got the best horses that we've ever had. had. Yeah, you're right. Jackie says it's fun to ride. She likes it. She oh, yeah. she likes All it. All about Jose and Jackie Watley. Amateur stallion winner. She's another good lady. I used oh, to. Yeah. She's an attorney. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I used to start a few coats for her. Well, she's a good one, and, and yep. believe me, she knows how to ride. She's a good attorney as she is a rider. Yeah. She, she's good. Right here, amateur class. This is your amateur canter class. Brain power. 
Jake Jacobs to the blue. Envious, Kim Leonard was reserved. A Dixie General, Laura Money, and Cassie's good wife, Paul Simmons, was finished out the ribbon. And I like that. That's something else I like about Paul. He's showing it all the time. Yes, yeah, he's. He likes it. That brain power is, is just, he, he's a great horse. Oh, yeah. He can get it done. the board. That'd been a good horse for a long time right there. Oh, Lord, yeah. Park. Debbie had him, he was good, yeah. and then she sold him. He was still, he yeah. just kept yeah. being good. And Jake got him, and, and he, he originally bought him for Allie Joe, but he's a little bit too much horse yeah. for her. Peoples really did a, a lot oh, to help that horse. That he had done a real good job with that horse. He, he was just, he took him to that step where he just pretty much automatic. Man, yeah. We'd mm -hmm. go down there and, and he'd just, someone stand around and say, well, get up on him. Yeah. I mean, he was that good. All right, we're going to take a short pause for our sponsors. We'll be right back and we got a little clip of somebody on a horse. No, oh, okay. I'd like to see it. <laughs> you probably would. We'll be right back after this short pause for our sponsors. <laughs> I had a knee replacement, so they've got me in life care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden. I couldn't do my flower beds. I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back and that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. More of What a Horse coming up. Well, Jerry, I'm going to tell you this video, we're fixing to see this horse uh -huh. got first place, folks. Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> it is. All right, we're, we're going let, to, let's show the video. Let, this is Jerry in his class, and he did. Now, I'm going to tell you, you made a good show. Sam Sarr yeah. thought you won it. Yeah. That's a, a real nice horse. Well, he's, if, he's getting with it anyway. Who owns that horse? But, oh, this is... I know who owns it. I was, I was going to see if you did. Yeah. Yep. It's Miss Virginia's horse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but she loves all her She loves all her horses, I, mean, I she tell does. you. She... You, you can point them out all day long. She, she told me a story about one horse that, that she had sold years ago. And uh, she said she got to thinking about it and found out where it was. She went and bought it and brought it home. You were right. She, <laughs> got, <laughs> she, she gets she attached her horse. to these she horses. Her it, whole it, field out there is full of all horses that she had from from way back when. Th those are pasture decorations. Ba yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves Virginia. 
All right, here's your youth 11 and under. This was a good one. Yep. Cole Hahn. I tell you what, that is a big horse. And well-trained horse. Yeah. Cole Hahn and Allie Joe Jacobs took the blue, just getting started, and Brindley Boyce was reserved. But I'm here to tell you now, a horse that well trained is really something. I, I You're believe right. it. he's trained at Justin Janae's stable, mm -hmm. didn't he? Well, I tell you what, he's trained suitable for a, a young lady. But now, like I told her mama, I believe that girl right there can ride a streak of light. Oh, yeah, she, she, she likes it now. put a saddle and a bridle on it, she, she, she can do it. Mm -hmm. But now, as I was told by another gentleman, she's got one of the best trainers in the world, so. Yeah. Lee Stewart is this young lady's instructor, and you can tell it because she knows what she's doing. Yes. That horse didn't miss a lick. Jake told me he decided not to show because he didn't think he could follow no. her. <laughs> he said, I can't follow her. Yeah. Real nice. Oh, yeah. Right here, your four year old open. Boone's Gin. Boone's Gin and Jimmy McConnell took the blue in this one. Mike Floyd is awfully tickled with this one. Yeah. I don't blame him, it was a good one. Just can't tell me nothing that Justin Harris was reserved for Joe Fleming. You know, Cole Hahn was unanimous too. Okay. Boone's Gin, I like the, I like the name Boone, of that horse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boone's Gin yeah. and Jimmy McCall for Mike Floyd, your four-year-old open winner. Right here's your four-year-old canter class. I'm gonna say it. He was unanimous in the win. But this Mr. Two Blue with R.M. Kelly. Kelly. Yeah. That's it. Jake Jacobs family owns him. Uh-huh. He, he was he was just flat out great, I thought. Entitled to a secret, Drew Graves was on a real good one too that, that's owned by Jerry Sue Albright. And it's who I am, Dale Watts for Jonathan Watts. Three good horses, yes. real good horses. But that Mr. True Blue stood out yeah. now, he uh -huh. really did. R.M. Kelly's just one of the young guns for, yeah. that's really coming on and getting better and better. He's up in Kentucky. There's Dale. And there's Drew. As RM, he's real good with a horse. I watch him, been watching him for a long time there. The videos that he put out and stuff like that. I mean, all of them, his horse is consistent. He works hard at it. Well, I was impressed with him. I've been impressed with a lot of the horses he puts in the range. I mean, yeah. He, he just puts good, solid horses in there. Yeah. And sets the saddle good, too. Yeah. 
His dad was a good horseman. Play right there is nice. Yeah. All right, here's your youth, 12 to 17. Now, this was some tough competition here. That's the phenom right there. Bruce McDonald used to own that horse. Yeah. A Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley took the blue in this class, the Phenon, and Colton Trimlin was reserved. I'm a Dixie Diva and Marie Beard. She's Thorn Shade, Storm Sims, and home page, Jay Parker Watts. Finished out the ribbons. But you know that MVP? I wonder sometimes if that horse wouldn't measure pony. Yeah, because he's, he's not real he's I mean, he's big. He's not yeah. overly big uh -huh. now. And he is nice. He, he's got that steady yeah. walk to him. King Thane, Bob Adcock took yeah. the blue in this class. Mr. Farrell and Paul Simmons yeah. was reserved. And the American mobster, Linda Shrivener, finished out the ribbons. The King Thane's his usual self. He oh, just yeah. playing out good. And Mr. Farrell is too. Yeah. Mr. For Real got a first place vote yeah. too. I like that slow walk right yeah. there now, I do. And that right there, that's yeah. just getting it done. Mm -hmm. Every time I've talked to Paul, I've We've had, you know, not real long conversations, but just enough that you, you can tell he's very laid back. He is. He is. Right there is Mr. Oh. Farrell and Paul Simons, or Paul and Tiffany Simons, your reserve winner. I had a mare this, this fold the other day. That's for him. Is that for yeah. him? Well, I tell you now, he sets a horse. Oh, yeah. He kind of sat down, you know, over the seat and everything yeah. like Joe Martin. Uh -huh. Right here's your walking horse steak. And I'm going to have to say, I kind of I kind of like the way he looked. Yeah. Joe Paul just sat back and rocked and rolled. Wink Groover took the blue with Joe Paul for Strickland and Porterfield. Walking Mr. Charlie, Sam Martin was reserved for Terry and Lisa Smith. Twisted with honors, R.M. Kelly. He's in there on another good one. Yeah. For him and Miss Mrs. Howard Eastridge. And former line, Josh Watts for, and Chris Mills.
That's a good steak. Oh, yeah, there's there's four steak. good horses uh -huh. in there. Right there he is, Joe yep. Pond, Winky Groover for Strickland and Porterfield. Shane is tickled with that horse. Oh, yeah. Show. Oh, Sarah, yeah. Sarah did a real did, good job. She did a really good show. Came, you can look at everything that went on, and, and you had a lot of good horses, a lot of competition. Yep. A lot of those were tight, too, because there wasn't that many unanimous no, uh -uh. down through there and looking. And a lot of times, you know, you have a bunch. But now you got a first place vote because you can tell everybody Sam Sarr thought I was the best one. Money now. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> you you, you going to call him and thank him? Yes, sir. Oh, all right. I just wondered. <laughs> I would. I'd say, you got it right. The rest of them got it wrong. wrong. That's right. <laughs> but you was right all the way. All right, now this weekend we've got the extravaganza. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a, a good show. You be a good you're going to take two? Yeah, I'm going to take two horses. You're going to take that lead line over there. going to take a lead line over there. You're going to go for two? Yeah, I'm going to try to. <laughs> <laughs> try to. Hey, I don't blame you. I would too. If anybody interested in going to the spring extravaganza, call Carol Misseldine. She will put you in the right position, 919-437-6597. Other than that, it will, next week, we'll have the cancer walking for cancer. Yeah. I always like that because that's a charity that supports Bedford County. Yeah, yeah that's and, right. And a lot of these charities, you know, we, we do it for everything. Uh, we got one coming up for tennis. Yeah. You know, that, that's, to me, more and more schools ought to get involved and have four shows for their sport. Yeah, Because it's right. a great way. We raise money for for, tra for fishing, Yeah, to, to fishermen. So it, it's good. Jerry, I appreciate you taking I appreciate time. you having me here. I appreciate we'll, uh, it. We'll see you tomorrow, because I, I want to come watch some of them boys ride. That'll work. They They'll be out there riding. Taz may get thrown. No, I don't know. It'd take a good one to throw him. I know. He, yeah. said, he said, they can't ride it. Let me own it. Too. That's right. Appreciate you coming. We'll see everybody again next week. Have a good Thank weekend. You. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. I got my rhythm down pat. So they say, I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.